Good to go. We're reinforcing this area, our little beaver dam area. So hopefully it won't gush so hard through the property with the addition of these rocks. So with this next big storm that's coming that should be lasting for about three days, I think we'll be ready for it this time around. The culvert won't wash away under the road and we'll also have our fence intact and it won't be so much soil washing away. So, it's our little beaver dam, rocks, some leaves, and some sticks. It's quicksand down there, Dad. Not yet? Not yet. The other uh, small dam has slowed the water a little bit. See, it's starting to work, you guys. It's starting to work. Yay. There is plenty of rocks on the property. Plenty in order for us to create a good line for the creek. So we're out in the back. And these are the rocks in the background. This is her first time in the woods. We got Betsy back here with no complications. And look how beautiful it is out here. Come a long way. So what we're doing today, like I said, we're getting ready to collect rocks to prepare for tomorrow's flood. There's definitely going to be some damage to life and prop and property tomorrow so we're just actually out here getting ready to prepare because creeks like ours tend to overflow so kind of creating a barrier between the land and uh 
the creek to stop erosion and to keep the water flowing where it needs to go. So, see those rocks over there? That's where we're going. Pick up some rocks. Good morning, good morning again. Uh, this morning we're checking out the screen. We know found out that the water don't only flow from the bottom of the ground. They flow, flow several places on top of the screen. Like for example, that hole right there, see the water coming out of that? That area right there? That's coming through the ground, running through the screen, going in that direction right here. Also over here, this is some of the water flow that is uh, coming from the top of the land, uh, running in the stream towards the front of the property. Natural made. Natural made. And then we got a. Come over here. Let me show you. In the direction of the flow of the water. Okay, stand right here. Close to the air. Stand in the other direction. Now, Dad wants me to get close to the edge. I'm, I'm afraid I might fall in. There's a lot of settlement down here, too. So this is the lower part of the creek. Looking nice, looking nice, looking nice. You gotta remember, a lot of this was not visible back in 2022. My dad was able to thin the woods out a little bit, cut out a little bit of the trees so that we can see a lot more of this area. We got our small little beaver dam so we can have continuous water flowing. <laughs> that log has been there forever. It's a down tree that has just been there forever. It's huge, actually. I don't know if the camera's picking up how big it is, but it's huge. The water has slowed down so much. It's so impressive now. It's not flowing so roughly through the property anymore.
There's another small little beaver dam. My dad actually picked up those big rocks and put them there. Yeah, I did that to slow up the flow of the water. It was Try pushing through here real hard. Yeah. So we have water running through the property all the time, 24 seven. And plus, who doesn't love the sound of like a small waterfall? So it sounds really nice. Look at the moss. The moss is coming back in because it's springtime. So now we're towards the front of the property. We have to work on cleaning this area up because it accumulated so much sand and settlement from the excavation. And here are the rocks that have lined the creek bed. We got that from the back of the property that we plan on using for grazing. And it goes out towards the culvert. 